geolocation so geolocation is a uh, a combination of two fields one uh, component is called latitude and the other component is called longitude it is generally used to help in calculating distances or uh, very useful when you want to try to implement maps you can use the latitude and longitude components and drop the point on the map so that's where geolocation is very useful so let's click on next and create a geolocation field so let's say we'll call it address location and we'll call it degrees minutes and seconds and we'll call it decimal values up to two and we'll click next and next and see so this would create a a geolocation uh, uh, field for you for address location we'll give a latitude value to get a geolocation what we are doing is we are going to a website called geolocation of an IP address and we'll find the correct coordinates for a particular location like it is showing on the screen right now then we'll try to put the latitude and longitude information from here so we've just copied this information so like latitude is 50 something and and longitude is 1 so that's how uh, we can put, pull up a latitude and longitude location of uh, a particular place and when if you use these values in your coordinate you will be able to put a pin on the map so i'm using this particular website to track the geolocation coordinates which is the longitude and long latitude however in a real life scenario uh, your developers would create an interface to track these coordinates from the device itself. So let's say your uh, laptop or the or the mobile phone or any other device which can pass the GPS coordinates to Salesforce. So generally this field would not be put on the UI moving on to next which is phone so phone is a very interesting data type which is available what it does is when you enter the numbers it automatically formats it to a phone number format for in order to format the phone number it uses the user's locale so locale is is a definition which is used uh, to change the user interface and certain settings in salesforce uh, based on the user is based for an example uh, if the user is based in the uk then uh, the date format would be uh, dd mm yy which is the date then month and then the year whilst if this if the user is based in the us then the date format would be month date and year so that would be MMDDYY. So that's what a locale uh, does to a user setting. So and similarly, the phone numbers are formatted using that locale. So it, it becomes easier to read. Uh, that's it. So we'll call it phone number and go next and next and save. Right. So this would give us a phone number field on our uh, object. So let's create uh, a record. So let's call it test record three. And here we try to put a phone number. So let's say we call it 998765432 Sorry, one. And then let's click save. So and and see how this number is formatted using the user locale and how the phone number fields help us in doing that. So. So do you see on the UI, the user locale has changed uh, the formatting of this particular number. If you click edit, it would still show uh, in the same sequential number, but just for the readability purposes and based on your user locale, it has modified this value. So what you can also do is you can go to the user setup. So go to setup and go to your users and you can try uh, changing your locale so how do you do that you click on edit here and then 
you go to locale settings and then you can change the user locale from here so let's say if i change it to uk now and click save so let's see what happens on the ui so this has changed the formatting to a generic number formatting rather than the formatted phone formatting so that's the difference please share your questions thoughts and feedback in the comments section and i'll get back to you